Hey man, what it is? This is Dame and I am your host and this is by any means. There go the cash app. Show the boys some love. Holla at your boy. You hear me? It work. There go the PayPal at Dame by any means. You can hit that super chat button at the bottom of this video. Say it with me, y'all. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much much, much appreciated. This video right here is truly, I mean, of course, if you're not a Shakur Stevenson fan, a Shakur Stevenson hater, a Devin fan, a Tank fan, whatever, you more than welcome to come into my house and take your shoes off and listen to this video as well. But this is specifically for my Shakur Stevenson fans such as myself. These is all of the things that I don't, I think that Shakur Stevenson needs to hear. And I want to give y'all my outlook on Shakur Stevenson and why I am criti more critical than, I'm probably the most critical Shakur Stevenson fan on YouTube, Twitter, wherever. But I'm actually a fan of the guy. Um, I want to start with why I, I do like Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson comes from the tri state areas, such as myself. That's one. Um, Shakur Stevenson's skills is undeniable. I appreciate that he focuses so much on actually being good at his craft. And what I mean by that, is he a knockout artist? No. Could he, could, do he, is there certain things he could get better at as far as boxing and things like that? Uh, yes. But that's, I could say this, I could literally say that about every single boxer. Every single boxer has something that Dean thinks that they can do much better. Like Javante Davis. Um, starting slow, like Javante Davis, not using his jab as much as I would like him to. Um, and y'all know that's my favorite fighter by far. Um, Shakur Stevenson's, I love that he thinks in the ring, and I say another fighter's not thinking or don't have high IQ. This is strictly about Shakur Stevenson. Um, I can tell that Shakur Stevenson is, you know, when people talk about download and data. I know that he's doing that when he's fighting. I love the fact that Shakur Stevenson is a, um, we do need fighters that's hit and not get hit fighters. The sweet science that we call it. Now, it's not the only sweet science. That's the part that I don't like when people act like Shakur Stevenson's style is the only style that's considered sweet science. No, every style is the sweet science of boxing. Pitbull style, Tank style, Terrence Crawford style, Earl Spence style, Devin Haney style, Shakur Stevenson style, all of it is the sweet science of boxing because there's different variables of boxing and different styles of boxing. And if you perfect any one of them styles, you could be undisputed, you could be a world champion, you could retire undefeated. Um, I love the fact that um, Shakur Stevenson doesn't have his dad and a bunch of other people speaking for him nine times out of ten. If you hear, somebody, hear Shakur, anything about Shakur or coming from Shakur camp, it's coming from Shakur Stevenson directly. So I like that the young man stand on business in that aspect. We're going to get to the other stuff that I don't like about him talking as much as he do. But as far as when that come, when as far as that's concerned, um, I just know that the kid, his defensive ability is, is is second to none. Again, there's things I could think he could do better even in defense. I think he could slip a lot better. I think he could use more feints. I think he can um, add angles to his defense the way that Lomachenko does, even though I think he's a better defender at Lomachenko as far as actually not getting hit. But I think he could be even better. And um, I think he will. I think he will, to be honest. Um I love that Shakur Stevenson keeps his jab in your face. I love that Shakur Stevenson is a master at controlling distance and um, making fighters, no matter who that fighter is, feel uncomfortable or unsure about what they're doing. That's the number one thing that I like about Shakur Stevenson more than every everything. When you step in a ring with Shakur Stevenson, he's he automatically makes you uncomfortable because you already know like the fact that he can intimidate you with just with his defense is amazing in itself. And I seen Floyd Mayweather had that same effect on a lot of fighters. Is Shakur Stevenson as good as Floyd Mayweather's? No, because he don't turn his defense into offense 
better than Floyd Mayweather used to do. That's the thing that separates them two. But I believe that Shakur Stevenson will figure it out. He has to if he want to accomplish all of the things that he set out for himself to accomplish. Because the guy, as you get bigger in weight, as the competition is getting more um, crazier now, he's going to have to do those things to beat a Lomachenko, to beat a Gervonta Davis, to beat a Kid Austin, to beat a um, William Zapata, um, and those type fighters because they're going to bring it to you. They also are very, very skilled fighters in their own aspect, their own right. To beat a Abdullah Mason, you won't be able to fight that way. Um, not all the way that way. When I mean that way, you could fight that way, but you got to turn your defense into offense. Similar to the 2000 Baltimore Raven defense. Those are the things that I love about Shakur Stevenson. Um, I think Shakur Stevenson is, a, um, as far as how he treats his family and the people around him, I love that about Shakur Stevenson. I love the fact that Shakur, Shakur could be cocky and all that, but Shakur is not all the way delusional, like as far as how Devin is and like, do he do a lot of capping? We going to get to that. He does a lot of capping too, but I love the fact that if his back is against the corner about something that's just outlandish, he's not going to, he's not going to go down that path. And that's why I still respect the young man. Now, the things about Shakur that I I, I I know his fans, I know his corner, and people that claim they care about him so much that they not telling them. Number one thing I need, I think Shakur Stevenson need to do, I think he need to get rid of Jake Prince. Shakur Stevenson should have never been there. That I, I, just, I just don't think that Jake Prince Jr. or Jake Prince are good influences on a young man. I think they play a big factor in him overvaluing himself and not accepting what his market value value is right now. And um, I just think that they not the not saying that they bad people. They just not people I would want my son associated with. They just not people I would let my son be associated with because um, we've seen what they've done. We've seen we, Jay Prince has a history of boxing and let's just say it's not the best. Okay. Same thing I feel for Abdullah Mason. The difference is with Abdullah, Abdullah has a dad there to intervene. Not saying that Wally Moses doesn't, but I just think that Jay Prince um, is much more less of an influence on Abdullah than he is a Shakur Stevenson because he has his actual father, not his grandfather. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think that's number one. I think that... Um, Shakur Stevenson needs to stop talking as much because he contradicts himself a lot as far as the Frank Martin stuff. But you wanted to fight Frank, but but now he's saying, well, it's the, him and Lamont Roach is not a Frank Martin fight. But you can't, like, bro, you wanted to fight Frank Martin, Brody. You know what I mean? Like, um, just doing a lot of the talking on Twitter and it just – everybody's your brother like bro you got to stop this everybody your brother stuff bro y'all holding up divisions with that brody Cervante davis is not giving that same grace Shakur, i can't give you that grace bro everybody can't be your brother you and Keyshawn davis are not brothers y'all are close friends and i get it and we let you get away with that with Keyshawn. Keyshawn, the only person we trying to hear that about boots and um Richardson Hitchison and 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 I understand Terrence Crawford because y'all would never fight people that like you and Edward Belanga have no problem with that actually being your homie why because we've seen y'all grow up together we know that that's your real homie in real life and he, and he just way bigger than you you would never fight at his weight division so it doesn't matter if you and Jerron Anderson are homies you and Edward Belanga but you got to understand how perspective is bro Richardson Hitchison get a belt Keyshawn Davis get a belt. Shakur, you can't be undisputed at the two weight divisions that you're probably going to be most known for. You're literally holding it back, bro. You're holding your own accomplishments back when it comes to that. We allow that for one fighter, and that was Keyshawn Davis. We've been letting you get a pass with Keyshawn for that. We can't let you get a pass for all of these other guys when it comes to that, my G. We just can't do it, and it's, it's unfair. It's, it's just it's not like, bro, Like I, I get it. But you can't be friends with everybody and y'all cool and this like, nah, bro, this is the hurt business, bro. This is the hurt business. Whether y'all cool or not. Earl Spence is cool with Jermail and Jamar Charlo and told them straight to their face, I, I, we could fight. I ain't never say we couldn't fight. 
it's a different type of mentality. You know, um, just the whole Devin situation when everybody was coming at Devin, and then now you talking about man when people, um, can try to kick you while you down. Like Shakur, you was calling Devin every word that everybody else was calling Devin, bro. And just cause you're not mad at him no more, you can't condemn people that still feel that way towards Devin because you don't. Because it looked like was you capping in or is you capping now? I think that Shakur Stevenson could be. I've, I've heard from people that. Very big fans of Shakur Stevenson that has met Shakur Stevenson that know people in Shakur Stevenson corner that he's not the the besides his family and all that he don't treat people the best. I've heard that about him. He's not the most approachable boxer. He's very he's very cocky. Like how we think Gervonta should be, they complete opposites, right? How we think Gervonta would be is actually how Shakur Stevenson is. And how Shakur Stevenson tries to come across is how Javante Davis is, if that makes any sense to you. Like, Javante Davis is a very quiet, polite guy in real life, from what I've heard. Like, very humble. Like, like overly humble and quiet and nice to the people around him. I hear Shakur Stevenson kind of the opposite. Not that he's a bully or like a... He's just a, one of those cocky, arrogant guys. These are things that I've been told from people that's like his biggest fans. You dig what I'm saying? So I have no reason to doubt it. Uh, I think Shakur Stevenson has to realize where I think he don't do a good job as far as real, realizing where he at and what his place is in boxing and where he stands, that he's not Gervonta. I think he thinks he should think very highly of himself as far as skill-wise. I don't like that he's not as humble when it comes to his marketability wise. He has a lot to do. He has a lot to gain. And when you already think you're somewhere, you can't get to the next step because you already think you're there. Like how Devin Haney thinks he's worth four million dollars a fight, but have only ever gotten paid one point five million. That's what I'm saying. You think you're worth more than what you are and not saying. And I believe you are worth that. But you still got to show and prove. You can sit up there and think that you'll be the best doctor in the world, but you have to get through school and, and get your doctorate and take those steps before you can actually prove it. Javante Davis has already proven it. Y'all are still y'all still in the prove it stage, but don't want to. But you but you're upset that people look at it like you still got to prove it stage. I believe Shakur Stevenson should be a pay-per-view star. I believe he has the looks for it. Very handsome young man. I believe he got the personality, the smile. I believe that, you know, um, he got the skill set. He talks. He got the personality to sell his fights. But the reason why he's not getting there, I believe, is because of the Jay Princes and, and, and the certain other things that I just mentioned that makes you unlikable to a certain aspect. I believe that he didn't listen. I, th I think he deliberately went against everything he heard everybody saying when it came to Eddie Hearn. And then now when he received the backlash from it, he's upset about that. We told Shakur, bro, like, you my guy. I didn't want you to go to Eddie Hearn because I knew this stuff would happen. No different than Jerron Ennis, bro. I've been just as critical of Jerron Ennis, but the difference between you and Jerron Ennis is Jerron Ennis tried to go where the smoke was. Those fighters over there deliberately ducked him so there was no point of him signing that contract because they wasn't going to fight him. So he was still going to be in the same position with the PBC that he's with, he's in with Matram. So he might as well go over here to Matram who's going to try to get him the bag. You know Eddie is going to pay him a nice amount of money and then Eddie promised him he'll bring it back to his hometown. And I believe that's why Jerron is, is with Eddie because at least Eddie kept his word when it came to that bringing boxing back to Philadelphia since the first time in 2015, since 2015. That has done a lot for the city. That has got even gotten the city behind boots even more than we already was. So in that aspect, it has worked. But he still had fell in, Eddie Hearn is still fell in boots as far as getting the fights that he actually needs to catapult him to that next stage. That's what I was trying to save you from, little bro. Because I knew the backlash you would get if you did it. I knew I would have to sit up there and say, bro, you can't talk about Javante Davis when you had a chance to go over there and actually make it happen. 
I don't like that he said he lied to us and said he was going to see what everybody has to offer and he deliberately didn't go to where the PBC is at, but then say that's where you want to be. And all of the guys that Shakur say he wants to fight, he didn't sign to none of those companies where all the guys are that he actually wants to fight. That's when negotiations come in. You're talking about you got to get a bag, bro. You could go to these promotional companies where they at and negotiate a bag. It ain't just Eddie, bro. As we clearly see. I think he had the same mindset. The same thing I was trying to save him from is the same thing we was telling everybody else about Eddie Hearn and all of them with this Turkey Ali Kashyyyk stuff. Now they not seeing eye to eye. Well, Eddie, we told you what the man plan was. Y'all was trying to tell me he's the savior and all of this other stuff. But me and a multitude of other YouTube channels was trying to tell y'all what the play was. You ain't want to listen. So you got to accept the criticism when people was trying to tell you, don't go into that burning building. You go into that burning building and get burnt. Don't get mad that we laughing at you like I told you, dummy. Don't go over there. And that's where I feel like Shakur Stevenson is very defensive. I think he's too defensive about stuff that people have legit arguments about, bro. You switched up on Javante Davis. You switched up on the Devin Haney situation. You all this, your, your brother stuff. We was trying to tell you that Eddie Hearn don't have nobody for you to fight. You was talking about chasing a bag, but at first it was chasing greatness. You went back, you contradict yourself a lot, bro. And that's hurting you. Marketability-wise is hurting you. And then your last couple performances has been hurting you. So you can't be talking like the big bad wolf when you ain't putting big bad wolf Opera on uh, um, performances out there, and even you said that you wasn't happy in your performances. Then you cannot get mad at other people who don't like you. I might add, being mad at your performance or talking about you. This is what you have to expect. I'm a Shakur Stevenson fan. I truly want the best for the young man. I don't believe being around Jay Prince's was best for him. I don't believe being signed to Eddie Hearns was best for him. I don't believe him having all these brothers in boxing is what's best for him. I don't believe him contradicting himself a lot is what's best for him. I don't. I believe he can handle things a lot more maturely. I think he can make a lot of smarter decisions. And I believe if he, he, if he does that, he will get to where he wants to be. Y'all already know what this is, though, right? Bing, by, any, means. And I holla at y'all.